Hey everybody, welcome back. Sim Casino. Hope you're having a great day. This is the final episode for this casino. We're going to start the one downtown after this. In fact, I think in this video, we probably will go ahead and start it. Uh, but we're going to time skip ahead and stuff to do that. I wanted to give you a quick recap on some of the things I've changed and some of the things I'm about to change in this video to try to make this place a bit more profitable because profitability is actually down despite our popularity being way up. And a lot of that has to do with decisions to fill the place. But I also, again, I'm trying to reiterate, I think there's a cap on how many people can come here at a given time. And if you make too many gambling facilities, uh, the game doesn't really give you the money that you think it's gonna give you. So first thing I'm gonna do is just recap you on some of the things I've built. Then we're going to tear down some stuff to increase profitability so that the profitability from this casino can carry us to the next one. But before we do that, <laughs> uh, this isn't lined up at all. So we are going to make sure it is. I think about there. Nope. I do, I do wish the move tool would not overlap the other ones. Like, I wish there was a clear definition on that because it's a little hard to tell sometimes. I think that's good enough. Okay, so a couple of things I've changed. One, let's talk about security. I want to go into daily profit and loss. And we're going to see uncollected prizes. No, today we don't even see this. Hang on, 67? Uh, here we go. 67, so... Stolen and retrieved, right? Stolen cash that we retrieved, 1,400 here, okay? If we go to day 66, this number adjusts itself to 2818, and I think day 65 was like a low one, at least I thought it was. Is it 64? See, okay, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but look, we have uh, 4,200 here, right? As we go back into time, it's it's we're always recovering this much, right? And it doesn't seem to matter how many security forces I put in place. They, it does help a little bit. Like we're retrieving less here. And 67, this is yesterday. It says we retrieved just 1400. So maybe it's helping a little bit, but I don't know if it's helping proportionate to how much it's costing me. And uh, let me explain. So I've added some extra security. I've added some extra patrol routes through here. And um, I've also added more cameras, you see. I've got extra camera monitors too. But the amount of money that I'm retrieving from people stealing it, I think it's less than how much it's costing me for the guards themselves. So I'm not sure it's worth it, you know? Like letting them go might be the better course of action here, I think. But I wanted to show you the security and crime tab. So right now we have 17% and I've recovered 22, uh, 221,000. Now, if I scroll down here enough, well, okay, so day 68 and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't scroll anymore, but you're gonna notice that in this field over here, it says failed attempt, nothing stolen. Failed attempt, nothing stolen. A lot of failed attempt, nothing stolen, right? We are stopping them from stealing money. And this has to do with what I misunderstood. I thought the hackers and the thieves we're mostly taking them out of the slot machines and the card games. They were cheating at card games and stuff. But I think the overwhelming majority of money stolen from my casino was actually being stolen from these ATM machines. And, uh, and this one. And that ATM over there. And that's because my camera network before, it didn't cover the ATMs. So I've got a little bit left right here where it's not quite covering these ATMs, but it's covering the spot in front of it, right? And a lot of my cameras, all my cameras, in fact, they didn't cover the ATM machines. So I've repositioned cameras so that they cover the ATMs now. And yes, I said ATM machine. You can just deal with that like an adult. <laughs> you can. It's possible. Believe me. You can do it. I'm going to put my camera right here, though, because that's. I think this other camera that I just took was right next to another one. Yeah, there's already one right here. But see, this one's not covering that. So I'm gonna reposition this. And now it's covering those two ATMs. So they were cover they were stealing it from those. And that's why we weren't catching them because they were doing it off camera, technically. 
so I fixed that loophole. <laughs> I was covering every table, every slot machine, just completely leaving the ATMs unguarded. So now we're taking care of that. Now, the second thing that's really hitting my budget hard is the expansion of all these tables, right? I've expanded to all these tables, and they're nice, right? There's a whole lot of tables here. And as the day gets going, we will get players at every single one of these tables. I could just kind of explain it a little bit more in your face by going marketing, but I've tried this TV show, Gambler Five Days, excellent. I've done it. I've done it with just one day, and I will spend one hundred seventeen thousand dollars, and I will get almost no new people for this. We're at, again, we're just kind of maxed out. I think it's not giving me any any more people, so I kind of don't care. So I'm gonna let them flow in, and again, we'll get these guys playing. But if you take a look at my expenses, and mostly this episode is about kind of finalizing this casino so that it's making good profits so we can move it on to the next one. But if you take a look at, like, say yesterday, right? Staff. Trusted staff wages are $42,000. That's more than security guards. And every single one of these tables is a trusted staff member. These guys all cost money. What's their rate? Their wage is $25 an hour. There are 89 of them working. That is a lot of money. If I reduce the number of table games to the point where, you know, maybe we're filling up almost every chair all the time, then that would be more optimal, right? So why don't we go ahead and dismantle these four tables as an example, which effectively fires that staff. And I'm going to go ahead and do this too. Pygot Poker is not really all that popular. It's not being played very much. I'm wondering if it's because of game rules or anything. It's just five and five. No big deal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one and this one as well. So the workers will go ahead and get on this. And there we go. Now, these games already aren't that profitable anyway. So it's probably a better idea. Yeah, we're, we're still at a loss with this table. We're at a big loss with this table, right? Some of them are good, but none of them compare to poker. Poker is like king of the casino here. I've made $100,000 on just that table alone. $84,000 on that one. $79,000 on this one. These are very good tables, right? We're going to do a lot of poker in the next casino for sure. But the other big expense that we have are licensing fees every day for every single slot machine. Let me take a look really quick here. We're just gonna reference uh, day 67, that's uh, yesterday, right? What for referencing today doesn't really matter because it's like 10 a.m. But if we take a look really quick at gambling, right? Daily license fees, 22,000, almost $23,000 in, in that. That's, that's insane. Spending that much money on just the licensing fees for all of these and we are not filling up the seats we do not have even close to enough people to warrant this many slot machines right it just shouldn't happen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up to the top here and i am going to get rid of all slot machines on the top floor and that's going to give people a lot of things to do so we're going to let staff get on this now we can pretend that there's some there because i think by design you would totally love to have slot machines everywhere like this, you know, as long as you have the people to do it, but I don't have the people to do it. So we're going to get rid of these. And that is going to cut down on our costs for those licensing fees, because those are huge. Now, of course, I could put table games in place here or whatever I want, but we're just going to leave the carpet here and pretend, all right? Let's just pretend that there are, th that there are things here. It's fine. Uh, Workmen are handling 164 unassigned tasks. Yeah, I think temporarily I'm going to add a number of workmen just to finish this off. So let's say today. Mm, yeah, today let, let's have 20 workers today because there's going to be a lot of things to do. All right. Now, the next thing, of course, is this large dining area. It's pretty much useless. The space is not being utilized effectively and we can make additional theater space. But making additional gambling space just doesn't make sense. There's just not enough people to do that. It's mostly the area, okay? Now, I, I want to preface this by saying I don't necessarily think the game itself is limiting the number of people I'm allowed to have on this. 
what I think is actually happening is the number of people that I can have because of this area, I think that is what's happening. And I hope it's not the former. I hope it's the latter, right? I hope it's that this it's this area. Because when I move down there, I hope to have a lot more people in here. I mean, frame rates are chugging along a little bit. Uh, when I go when I go one time speed, it's not too bad. It's like I may be getting like 30, 25 frames per second, something like that. I, I mean, yeah, it's it's probably something like maybe yeah, I don't know, 20 or so FPS. Come down to the let's go down to the. Yeah, bottom floor here. It's a little easier to tell when you're on the bottom floor. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we're probably getting close to. Can I, can I see that? I think there was a setting for that actually. Uh, show, isn't there show FPS? I thought for sure there was. Anyway, I, I don't know if there is, but if I wanted to, I could increase performance by just reducing floor reflections. If I just turn floor reflections off, look at this. I think you can instantly notice a difference in frame rate. It is a lot faster. I'm getting instantly like 144 FPS, right? Like it dramatically increases the performance of the game. And all the way up here, even top floor, it's all good now, right? Without those screen reflections, it everything works out. So I think we're going to be playing with this setting from now on with the bigger casino, because as your casino gets bigger, that gets bigger. And like, do we really need to see the reflections on the floor? I thought they looked snazzy, but eh, not at the cost of FPS I was getting. So if you're one of those people who really like graphics like I do, but you're noticing that happening, you can totally fix that by just turning off that. So I just wanted to show you the difference. I think you can probably see it in the video pretty clearly. Uh, of the difference here but in case you can't let's just let's just do this because it does say expensive right look at the difference in how it looks though i love these reflections they look awesome they did such a good job but like you can tell as this security guard runs barely faster than somebody walks seriously devs you gotta fix this security guards are running the same speed as everyone is casually walking this is absolutely ridiculous and then they're gonna stand on the and the oh no i don't even know what she's doing oh no there she goes yeah yeah go get him you can get him i believe you it's like you're what oh never mind you gave up yeah pretty much yeah it's terrible <laughs> in any case let's turn these back off and talk about a couple other things i did so um one of the other things i've done is I wasn't really sure how to how to do this, and I really hope that they end up adding out overhangs or balconies or something to the game because it would open up so many possibilities in design, and I really really wanted that. I wanted like an overhang so people could hang out outside, but still be protected from the weather. I would have loved to have done that over here, but I couldn't do it, and I wanted to do it over here too, and that's why you know I have my hotel and stuff over above this. But as you know, can't do that, so I couldn't do it here either. So instead, I'm gonna pretend, right? And I've got this outdoor side. They can come out this side. It's fenced in. So, you know, it's not like an extra entrance. There's still only one way in, but they can come out here and chill. You know, kids can play whatever, you know, play in the grass or just whatever. And then they have these little beach torches uh, for nighttime lighting. There's also these little lights up above here. In addition to the torches, I thought it was a nice little touch. So I did that. I also, as you can notice, I've added this escalator on this side. This is new. You didn't miss anything last video. Uh, this is new. And I, I wanted to kind of give people a chance to like maybe go up to shows or whatever. Just give them another place where they could go upstairs. And uh, that's what this is. And this gets used a lot, actually. A lot of people are in this area for, for drinks and stuff. They want to come up here. So like before, if you wanted to get drinks, but this is all full, you have to walk clear over here. And now you can see it used to be that we had tons of of drinks tons of people like always full and now it's you know barely anything so that's it's nice we've provided alternatives for people so i'm gonna let this run really fast for a while and we'll let this get on with it but i've done something else too in the hotel right we've added additional comedy uh eco economy rooms but we've also priced them for giving them to people who lose money i want i want to keep them in here if you lose a lot of money here but you still have some with you or at least you still have some in your bank account i'd like you to stay here in my facility maybe you'll try again tomorrow when you feel better right and that's that's pretty helpful so uh we're gonna go to accommodation management economy rooms right now 
we're really only getting about 31% occupancy. That's not great. I'm gonna drop the price to 60 bucks. The ever satisfaction is really high, but it's just not happening. So the other thing I've done um, just now, we'll see if it has any impact at all, uh, is I've gone over here to manage gambling and I've done free hotel room, okay? And we're gonna offer a room worth up to $199 if they lose more than that in the casino. So because there's not a whole lot of people using the economy rooms, granted, there's not that big of a demand for people to stay in hotel rooms here. So that's probably why. But because there's not a whole lot of people using it, we always have vacancy. I thought maybe this would be an opportunity to keep some of these people in my facility instead of letting them leave upset, right? So we give them a free room uh, up to 199. Now, why is it up to 199? Well, come up here, uh, accommodation management. If I go to the standard room, I'm charging two. I was charging 200. I changed it to 210. Uh, but what I can do here is I can change that other one to 200 even if I want to. But the goal is you you would offer them a room up to 199 dollars value if they lost more than that, and. Uh, that means that the people who are getting free rooms are getting economy rooms. They're not gonna get the standard rooms because the standard rooms cost more than that, right? That was the uh, that was the idea. We get 46% occupancy in standard rooms and suites are actually pretty popular at 72%. So that's pretty nice. Most people who stay in our hotel wanna stay in the suite. My God, the performance is, di is different without reflections. Holy crap. <laughs> We're not playing with reflections anymore. Oh, it's so good actually with this. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out, solar panels. Now, I've added a ton because I wanted to test it. And I am disappointed to report that there is a maximum to solar panels. If there isn't and I'm wrong about this, then it's a bug. <laughs> that's, just, that's just math right there. If I'm wrong, then it's a bug. Because here's why. If I go to my infrastructure for day 60, okay? Electricity was $1,094. I added additional solar panels the morning of 61, okay? And when I say additional, I mean I, I filled this up and then I added all of these across the top, okay? These are all new as of day 61, okay? And I'm gonna go to daily profit and loss, go up to 61 and infrastructure, we spent the same. It didn't change it even a dollar. 62, the same. 63, pretty much the same, an extra $4. And maybe I added a slot machine or an extra thing or whatever, right? Go to 67, I added an extra uh, monitoring station, a couple of extra cameras. It's the same, right? It didn't change at all. So there is definitely a maximum to how much you can get for your solar, and that's unfortunate because each one of these advertises that it offsets $4 an hour. It clearly does not. You cannot get free power with this game in its current state as far as I can tell because, well, I doubled my solar and it did nothing. So there you go. What a bunch of wasted money that is. So we can go ahead and I can show you this way too, I suppose. We'll just copy all of these and sell them all. Get rid of them. Mine as well. They're doing absolutely nothing for me. There we go. Okay. So now the one thing I want to test, because it's day 69, I want to see what our licensing fees were yesterday, right? So if I go over here, day 68, save electricity cost. Let's go down to gambling, and the license fees are now $23,000. Okay. Did it not change? Or maybe I had to pay the licensing yesterday anyway. Maybe I have to wait one more day. It's 2 p.m. Let's wait one more day. See if that goes down. Because I think that's supposed to go down. Wow. Stolen cash retrieved. 3,400. I mean, again, the security guards are basically worthless. So <laughs> they're not doing anything. And now we have actual re real attempts here. Failed attempt, failed attempt. We're actually getting things happening there. So I don't know. In any case, I'm making it to where this casino is more profitable, at least trying to. And it seems to me like we're just not getting nearly as many people as I would like to come into this facility. And uh, 
no matter how much I do, it doesn't seem to matter. Total profitability yesterday, though, is 106,000 now. So we are making extra money. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Look at the profitability yesterday with 313,000. I think it's because of construction. It is. Yep. All of the refunds we got for the fortune teller stuff, it gave us a ton of money, right? So I really have to let this play on a few days. See if that helps our profitability at all. So let's take a look at this. The total profitability of day, let's, I don't know, 65, let's go. That was 52,000. 66 would have been 55,000. 67 would have been 39,000. We really didn't make much money that day, right? So 68 was a lot because of the sales. So today is something where, well, I sold solar panels today. So we're gonna have to deduct 70,000 from that. But I'm gonna let this run with no marketing and we're gonna see what happens. So give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, so I've let it run more than a day. <laughs> it's uh, Tuesday morning now, day 72. I wanted to test out whether or not our, our casino really was, you know, big enough to where marketing means nothing. And effectively, I've proven it. So let me show you the statistics on this. Right now, today, we have a excellent quality television show ad that's still running today. Without the ad, we get about 2,800 or so visitors. With the ad so far, we're getting about 3,200, 3,300. So it's, again, within, within that range that, it's, that it says, let me just go to marketing really quick. It says we should get 300 to 500 estimated new visitors. That is about what it gave me. But here's the story. We go to daily profit and loss, okay? So day 70 was a day without the ad. This is a day without the television show, okay? So what we're getting here is gambling. We made 300,000 in income and we had 197,000 in expenses. So we only made about $103,000 net from gambling, okay? Now that, this is probably good payouts, right? We had payouts received, yeah, 53,000 in payouts and table game prizes, 106,000. So table games, whew, they won pretty big on table games, okay? Now let me go to day 71. Now day 71 is gonna show a loss. And this is because on day 71, that's when I paid the advertising fees. Buy the TV show, just under a quarter million dollars for that. And this is a three day ad. Okay, so if we take a look at the ad, uh, where is it? I never can figure out where the hell this is. Demographics and marketing, geez. Uh, so this ad is a, uh, a three day ad at excellent quality, okay? And uh, it's, it runs us a lot of money, right? So this today here is the day two of that same ad, right? And we're hoping to see 3,200 plus uh, new people here today. The count resets at 6 a.m. So it's not a midnight thing, but uh, we still pay out all of our wages and keep track of our financing uh, as of midnight. So day 71, right? Shows a loss, that's when we made it. But look at the income, right? 308,000. I made a measly 8,000 more income. People got a little bit less lucky in their payouts. Table games still did exceptional. It's the cash payout receipts, I guess, but Basically, I made 8,000 more income, okay? 138,000 net. So effectively so far anyway, if this profit margin continues, it's not worth it. $235,000 to make an extra 30,000 a day is pretty much what we had there, right? Doesn't seem all that worth it. Now today so far, it's, it's pretty late at night. We're getting there, right? We can see the income has not really gotten up there much at all right i mean it, it might it might reach where the other days are right it's, it's getting there but we're not making any extra money compared to the days without the marketing here's day 69 this is with no marketing at all right made this much sixty-eight thousand. or day 68 sorry made a hundred thousand right so marketing isn't really helping us anymore we've reached the cap of where we're, where we're allowed to be we're too big for our own britches all right <laughs> basically where I'm getting at. So when you get this big and you start seeing yourself making this much on the opening tile, don't buy marketing. It's really not going to help you. One thing I could do is maybe buy marketing for other things. Like for example, advertising my hotel. Now that could work. 
because I don't have full vacancy, right? Or rather, I don't have full occupancy, sorry. So I could do that. Or I could put out an ad for my shows or whatever. But I'm not making much money on that stuff. This is like, the shows is a really low margin thing. So it's all about gambling. That's where I make my money. And I've reached the peak for that. So I'm gonna let this run until I have about maybe 2 million. And then we're gonna start our casino down in the city and we're gonna get designing that. So let me let this run past the marketing point. You can see we got to about 30, almost 3,400 here. Might tick 3,400 before that 6 a.m. countdown resets it, but in any case, it's not really all that worth it to get that many. So uh, I will let this run and uh, I will be right back. All right, so I've had a little bit of a time just to kind of play around with how I want my rows and everything. Uh, I'm using the high limit gambling zones to do that. So uh, one thing we're gonna do here is we're just gonna move these machines a little bit over and we move them into, I think we'll start with this, this particular side here. And uh, I'm just gonna place them, I think kind of like, thing is like, I, I don't know about leaving walk space here. So I might go all the way up against the wall, but I think for the time being, I'm gonna just mark this like this. So we'll move them into this position. And then uh, we're just gonna copy and uh, paste about like this to start a couple of rows. And I think we're gonna stick with this style. It doesn't really work. Hmm. It doesn't really work for this, does it? We'll leave this alone for now. Let's mark this all the way to here. Yeah. So this will be our initial starting uh, uh, slot machines. And like, notice my money. It's <laughs> We dug into it a lot, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we'll make some more money and then uh, keep going from there. But I want to make sure these games are set up properly. And also maybe have different styles as we go through too. So I put the ATM machines here. We'll get those loaded in. Cashiers and stuff are gonna be on this side. We'll have table games over here on this side. And uh, I think probably we'll have like a little restaurant kind of kitchen sort of thing over here. And then we'll have another one over here, right? So we'll have several different buffet areas like there are restaurants inside the casino is kind of what I'm hoping for. And uh, we're keeping these buildings kind of close to where the garbage zone is. So what I probably will do for this because you can only have one zone of each. But if I put the garbage zone like this, well, now each one of these kitchens can have their own, you know, garbage area that they can go into. And then I don't know where the garbage is going to get necessarily picked up, but it's not that big of a consequence. So whatever. All right. So uh, this little area here, you might be wondering what that's all about. Why leave a gap? Well, because we're going to put the bar there. So uh, we're going to have the bar, you know, but like this, it doesn't actually line up with this area. There's a little bit of a difference in spacing. So we're going to go like that. And then we go, come around and, and go like this with it. So uh, that'll be where our bar is initially. It's going to be kind of surrounding everything, which I think looks a little better than the last one we had. And uh, notice how wide open this is. There's not going to be a whole lot of walls blocking everything in this one. So uh, it is what it is. All right. So we need a few more of these slot machines. First, let's get the games in. Now, I use the high limit gaming uh, gambling zones just to mark where I want them, but I don't necessarily need the odds to be that. That said, though, this is a much more wealthier area, so we can start this at $25 and maybe make it $2,500 or $25,000 as the uh, jackpot. So maybe we'll try that. We'll go 11% on the advantage there for that. So uh, this will be our settings for that. However, I'm gonna go into the designer tool really quick. And you know, I think the theme for this one could be black and gold. I'm, I mean, clearly inspired by something, but um, we could go black and gold with this as a theme instead of the other one, which is kind of like a, a dark blue and a gold sort of thing. Okay, so uh, that's what we're gonna do for this. Let's take you as inspiration, copy the design, enter multi-select, go in like this. And we're just going to paste the chair design, paste the game settings, and randomize the game. So we should have a whole row here now with 25 and 25,000. Pretty straightforward. Cool? Cool. All right. Copy this and paste it here and paste it here. Now, this is going to cost us a lot. You see how much our money is draining really fast. 
So uh, it's not something we can just afford to keep doing. And eventually, we're going to have to just sit here and wait. Now, there's a high demand for hotel in this. And I kind of want my hotel reception desk to be somewhere over in this area. And we need elevators and stuff too. I think the elevators are probably going to have themselves maybe be over in this area as well. But I'm not entirely sure exactly where yet. I'd like to get this place profitable before I proceed with anything else. There is gambling demand here. So I just got to hope that that's going to work. Gambling confidence has to be 24 in order to play on these machines. So what I might do here, uh, just for these ones. Oh, look at this. Oh, the settings didn't carry over. Well, that's weird. These are all marked 25 and 25, but yet these all pasted with 10. Oh, uh, okay. Well... So that means the gambling confidence is 60 here. Well, it works for me. I don't necessarily like how they are all exactly the same game in a row. Yeah. So let's um, let's do something a little different here. I'll just take these and say randomize. And uh, we'll take these and say randomize as well. And I know that's costing me money for the licensing, but um, I just think it'll look a little bit better to not have them be exactly the same. Somehow these two ended up being exactly the same still, so... Let's change you to this one and change you to, let's go with, I don't know, this one. All right, good. And then these ones are all the same in the row as well. So we can change, let's change this one to be you. Yeah, we'll call that good. Okay, so we'll see if people actually come in here and enjoy our casino. They don't, we don't need a cashier just yet, but it's probably a good idea to get some security at least. A little bit so why don't we pause really quick we need a vault to store gold in of course uh to store our money in i was kind of hoping the vault would be a little bit more towards the front but if we're gonna make frequent deliveries and stuff for that it probably should be over here somewhere at least so how about we place it maybe in the middle here and we, i might move this depends make this a bigger wall about like this and then this is actually going to be uh, some, uh, storage, I think, here, too. So we could go about like this. And we're going to make a storage room here. So let's take... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Storage, storage, storage. Storage zone. Here we go. That'll be storage. And we're going to need shelves for the storage. Get three shelves per row here. Well, not per row. We have to be able to access it. So it'll be about like this. There we go. That's a nice storage room, huh? What do you think? I would totally store my stuff in that storage room. <laughs> so there we go. All the stuff in deliveries can go and go in here. Now I'm just curious as to whether or not that kind of seems silly. Doesn't that seem silly? It kind of seems silly. Why don't we put a door between these two things? They can just go between them if they need to. We may only re I may reduce this to just a single door. I think I will. Yeah, I think I will. Let's uh, let's get rid of the store, actually. So they come through deliveries, and then they go into the storage from there. That's, that makes more sense to me at this point. All right. This area, we're going to make this the vault. Okay, I've changed my mind, actually, on this being a vault area. Uh, I'm going to make probably make this like a couple of kitchens or something. But uh, I'd like, I, I like the idea of having that staff-only zone that's sort of restricted to all staff. So I'm going to bring it about here, and then we're going to go to about here. And that way I have room for security desks and stuff. And I probably need more than that, actually. So why don't we come out even further, like about to here. There we go. That should be more than enough room for security. So this is going to be my staff-only zone. And we're going to make this a staff door uh, right here. So they come into here. This is staff-only. And we can actually place the vault kind of right within this home, our own staff-only zone here. And... Uh, I think we will. Let's just bring this all the way over. We're going to place a vault door right here. Let's say. I can turn around, though. Face the other direction. Can you please? Yeah. Like uh, like this. That's pretty good. Yeah. So the vault will be right there. So let's mark this as the cash vault zone. And then we need just some, some shelves to stock the money. I, we really don't need a vault this big. I'll probably make this smaller, but uh, that's the way it is for now. 
Uh, okay, good. Deliveries, good. Story, storage, good. All this stuff is happening. Now we just need some cameras to start. We'll put this over top of here. We'll have one right here to watch the ATM machines and these slots as well, I think is a good idea. And then we can have one that watches these slots. Maybe try to line it up, I guess. And then come down and watch these slots eventually too. Right about like so. All right, so we're watching this, right? It's pretty good. Get these things loaded in. I need to hire a few security staff. So security guards. Let's make sure there are two on staff and then we can set up patrols as well. One security patrol can come through here. I'd like to see it, yep, like this. Good, like this. Excellent, over through here. And we'll call that good for now. That's, a, that's an okay route for now. And we'll just have you be one person, let's do two. Two people on this route all the time. So now it's just a matter of opening this place up. Yes, open. Actually, we don't need to do that. There are already people here at the bar. Cool. Now I probably want to, keeping with the gold and black and gold theme, right? Um, and it's interesting, we can set the prices and stuff on this. Let's get the price satisfaction to be, yeah, 78's okay. Yeah, let's not make it too cheap for them. Um, so we wanna go into designer tool, here we go. So I'm thinking, the black and gold bit. I like this surface, but I really wish it would be darker, you know? We'll go about that dark. It's pretty classy, I suppose. And then um, we want to get like a, is there any way to get gold out of this? It's like yellow, it's gross, no thanks. We'll put dark on this. Dark here and then light on the bar. I suppose that's okay. Yeah, this we'll take this design and we'll paste it here. All right, good. Now we didn't do the chairs, so let's also make sure we do the chairs. We can make them consistent with this, but I kind of feel like changing it up a little bit. So we'll go like this instead. And then can I at all? No, you really can't determine the color of the cushions. It's all about this, unless they do a different design. Hmm. I don't suppose there's any way to make this stand out as like a yellow kind of thing. Black and yellow. It doesn't look good. It it doesn't look good. We'll just go black chairs for now. Eh, whatever, black and white is fine. I, I, I guess I don't care. Uh, yeah, let's copy the chairs and paste it. Okay, so that's our bar. We'll see how many people decide to use our slot machines. Now this is not letting me have it because the entire zone is blocked by objects. You have to have a free space to enter into these zones. I ran into this problem with my poker tables, but I didn't really fix it because we weren't really using it as a high gambling zone anyway. But because the pricing on these is a little higher, well, not on these ones, on these ones it is. In any case, it doesn't matter. All we're gonna do is take our high limit gambling zone and just do this. And this will validate it. Because now there's free space in there. So now we wanna see if anybody comes in and actually gambles. I mean, $10 is nothing. You guys should totally be gambling at my at my establishment. Everyone's just coming in for drinks right now though. I guess nobody's gonna play at my slot machines. Boo, boo. I don't have bathrooms either. Uh, maybe put bathrooms maybe over here. Yeah, how about right? Mm, how about here? Is this big enough, you think? I think it probably is. About like that. For the time being, it's big enough. Okay. I know you, 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 were, you were very helpful in that decision. Thank you for telling me about that. Say men's room is here. Female bathroom is here, and let's set it up.
I think I'm gonna add this like little fire pit in here as like an extra decoration for some reason. The men's bathroom I think is, well, I don't know. It's not really, no, it's not bigger. This is the same size. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I wanna play that. Uh, we definitely need a garbage. We'll put the bin right next to the door here and I suppose here. Because it's, I gave the, I gave the girls an extra cabinet and mirror and stuff. Eh, I figured it's probably a good idea to do that. And uh, let's get hand sanitizer. Is that necessary? No, I don't think so. We can place the garbage outside here though. And then we probably want a couple of places to sit just because. So we can go, uh, well, we, we want to line it up exactly. Move you over. I guess it has to be like this. And then we can place some extra like plants and stuff on the sides maybe. Yeah, and then the garbage the garbage cans can just be, you know, whatever. It's it's like they come out and that's it. Good. Uh, put a little bathroom sign on the ceiling over here just to guide them later on, right? And now they've got bathrooms, so good. Good for you. I uh, need to dezone this, don't I? Yeah, all right. So this video is pretty long, <laughs> but Hey, you know, everything's working out. Nobody's gambling. That part sucks. So uh, we probably have to, I don't know. These guys got a bunch of money. Look at this, $928, uh, 781, 815. I just got to get them to gamble. And they're, right now their player confidence is really low. So uh, I guess I have to give them some slot machines that aren't so high risk, at least to see if they'll use them. So. Let's make the player cost uh, five dollars, and the jackpot can be still ten. I don't like it. Let's say five thousand. Yeah, I probably should go even lower. Yeah, four and a half is better. And then uh, we'll make it uh, two thousand as a jackpot. This sounds better. Let's copy these settings, and we'll just make sure that all of these start out like that. Okay, so now everybody should be using the slot machines. There we go. Now everybody will use them. All right, so uh, we're just gonna let them do this real quick. People are, people are already, <gasps> wow. People are already hacking these machines, man. All right, we gotta do something about that. Cameras are set up, but we don't have an actual security zone for it. We can solve that right now. Let's get this going. And we want a couple of people to monitor the cameras and please do this all the time. Just, you're always open here. Always open. Please monitor my cameras. Okay. We're gonna add more cameras and stuff too. Actually, I don't need this one. I can close this one. We only need one. Let's not waste money. We only need one. What's wrong with this office? Requires an enclosed space. Does it now? I mean, this is an enclosed space, but uh, I think the, the cheapest way to do this at the moment is just to do this. So we'll just do this for now and call it good. All right. So we got our staff only zone, deliveries, storage, cash vault, which, you know, is gonna be much bigger. Security office right here. This extra zone, probably for a kitchen of some kind. We got a garbage zone wrapping all the way around the front of the building because that's the way we should do it. Probably better to do garbage on this side, honestly. Probably. If we went, uh, oh, what is it? I never can figure out where this is garbage zone. If I wrap the garbage zone all the way over here, we should put that over here where people can't see it, right? Not in the front of the building. We just have the garbage delivered over here and then they go and pick it up, I guess. I don't know. I'll play around with that later, most likely, but at least everything is working. We have security guards on patrol. I would hope we have a couple here. Yep. They're just hanging out in this little area, buzzing around like a little bee. And uh, hopefully we make some cash, huh? Seven o'clock, day one of our new casino. Now, I just gotta know whether or not the other casino is gonna send us money too. That's what I gotta know. People are stealing a lot of cash here. Security and crime, 20%. Let's say up to three can chase somebody. Yeah, they're stealing lots of cash, look at this. That's ridiculous. They can just do that out of 
like in front of in front of us just you just have it happen it's absurd it's absolutely absurd um yeah we're gonna have i think another patrol i'm gonna put a new patrol right here you're just gonna go back in this area and maybe a little bit outside too just to kind of yeah just in this little area like this and we'll put two of you on that see what we get more patrols just ready to go oh boy <laughs> So yeah, we'll have a black and gold theme, but I, I kind of want to wait until we're profitable and all that to actually implement it. Let's make sure our guards are emptying the machines more regularly. We'll go like this. And let's keep 40,000 in the in the vault for now. Just so we have an extra extra cash on hand there. All right, I'm really interested, interested to see, you know, day two profits. Because day one, obviously, we have tons of expenses. It's not going to... It's not going to be accurate, but if we can get a good visual of what day two was like, that'd be great. We can start expanding our our slot machines out this way, get our table games going right in this area with a pit boss. I think I'll put a pit boss office right here, real nice and easy, maybe over here, and uh, we'll just let them keep going, and we'll have the buffet and all that stuff, but I want to get uh, elevators probably in this area. I think, I think probably here, actually. We'll, we'll send it out the three and three, like we were before. But by putting it in the middle here, we can ensure that hotel registrations and stuff end up being somewhere in the center, and then people can go from the center over to their room. So instead of having to like check in over here and walk all the way over there, they check in over here through the casino, and then they can walk to their room a little bit faster. And I think we'll go with that. So I have security guards just buzzing around with basically nobody here. But if we have anybody, she's really frustrated. I probably need to do some marketing to bring people in, too. Okay, gambling income. Probably horrible. Just got to see. Uh, other owned casinos. Oh, what is this? We had a loss at the other owned casino? That's ridiculous. Oh, wait. This is... Okay, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> okay, before you complain, make sure you're on the right day. Uh, so in the last four hours, it's 4 a.m. You have a loss there. Let's take a look at day one. Uh, other own casinos. Now we're talking. <laughs> Whoo, man, that's a close call, huh? <laughs> Real close call. All right, we're making a bunch there. Good. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to continue on this casino now. And this is in the big city. We should have a lot more to do here. And look at this. We can go up, 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 all the way up to nine. Floor nine, which is eight floors, really. It's, you know, but we can go all the way up. I wish you could go down. The vault in the basement is what we really need, right? Anyway, I'll let this keep running. We're going to expand more slot machines, get table games going. We have high limits, and we'll have most likely have a lot more people that are willing to do high limits because this area is much wealthier. Take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye.